Hi, it's Alicia Little. And in this episode of the Digital Jampreneur, we're going to talk to one of my favorite entrepreneurs on the island, Miss Nikisha Burrell. Okay, Nikisha Burrell is such a superstar. She was introduced to me as she was one of the recipients of the NCB Foundation's Level Up Grant Program the first time that it ran. And let me tell you something, Nikisha stood out because she was the top income earner and the most active student out of 1,400. Now, Nikisha Burrell went on to build an amazing online business, but she did more than that. She also published a book. Not only did she publish one book, but she published six books. Now, this, I believe, was the first of the six and my favorite so far. This is The Absolute Belief System. It's a great book, and I've bought plenty of copies to give away as gifts as well. So I've invited Nikisha to come on here today to tell us about her secrets to success. How has she built such a successful online business and how has she published so many books so fast? So let's hear right from Nikisha. All right, Nikisha, are you there? Thank you, Alicia. Thank you so much for such an introduction. Hi, everybody. Hi, future entrepreneurs. I am Nikisha Burrell. And I think I can start by safely saying that I am a serial entrepreneur, but it did not start there. I did not start off being serial anything. Prior to the pandemic, you know, COVID hit in Jamaica and the whole world, I was focused on one business and only one business for over 13 years. But after the pandemic hit, I realized my safe zone was literally pulled from under me. And I started to think, how come I do not have a second hustle and a third hustle? And you know what I mean? Why wasn't I investing all these years instead of putting everything in one business, which it's okay to do. But when the atmosphere starts to change, you realize as a business person that this alone won't do. So I started to search on what other things and what other business, you know, ventures I could go in. And I came across Alicia Little and we got introduced. And the rest from that is just explosive. Now, I joined their program with the Level Up program last year. And I don't know, it introduced me to a virtual marketplace that all these years I had no idea really existed. You know, you'll go by social media sometimes and you'll see people, you know, advertising things. And it just seems like a regular thing to do. But I never for the life of me thought that simple skills that I had, I could monetize from it in the way that we were taught to do with Internet Income Jamaica. And it's been history since. Now, I have a lot of secret sauce because we do. But before I even go there, I want to just say this. You have to understand that the world has changed completely. And that's what happened to me. The rug was pulled literally from under my feet and I had to now start to adapt to what was happening and I had to be objective about the matter to say if I want to stay relevant I have to expand my learning ability if I want to increase my earning capacity and that's what I did with this new team of mentors and family that I'm now a part of okay so I started off as a virtual assistant and I I took all the courses from Internet Income Jamaica because I'm that type of person. I took one course and I realized, ooh, this thing, I have been writing for years, years and years and years, ever since I was 13 years old. I think my first letter I wrote to Oprah Winfrey. And apart from my sister being my mentor, Oprah Winfrey was this person that I looked up to and said, like, ooh, I want to be that person when I grow up. So I've been writing these journals from 13 years old until now. I never got paid. And when I hooked up with the Little Sisters and their program, I realized when I wrote my first blog, I got paid for it. And I started to look at everything as a business. So this is how everything catapulted in what I do. What I did was I adapted to the virtual marketplace. And what I also did was expand on my knowledge of how to navigate and market myself there. And what I have also done is created a network and systems in place that I can now manage uh, companies and corporations with multiple staff and make sure that all the missing pieces are coming together. Now, that's a wonderful thing. But while I was doing that, I have a three-year-old. 
And I realized, how am I going to keep her occupied? So during that time, I, we, were, we were in the middle of everything. And in Jamaica, I thought to myself, I want to write a book. I thought to myself, how am I going to do it? But I was going through this, I call it introspection. It was kind of a spiritual thing because Jamaica was so down and everyone was feeling kind of out of themselves and they were losing on faith and everybody was fearful. And I wrote this book, Absolute Belief System. And I taught myself how to do this because of all the softwares and all the apps and everything that we got from Internet Income Jamaica. So I wrote this very first book. I wanted it to be a very easy read. And it's, it's about... Uh, pretty much directing you on how to feed your faith and not your fear just to come out of all the negativity that's going on about it. This is a great, really, really quick read. You can finish this in about an hour. But I had a three-year-old at the time and I, I had to find a way at home how to keep her occupied. And I found out that she loved reading books. And I gave her a whole lot of pictures one day and she came back to me with a story at three and I was like, whoa, cool. Everything that I look at, I see business. And I wrote my first children's book, and it was great. And then I wrote my second and my third, and now I am at, I think, nine children's books, because I have one in English and Spanish, and I have probably another six more in draft to come out next year. So I am now a serial entrepreneur because I'm a podcaster, I'm a business consultant, I'm an author, and it just keeps going on. And the reason why that happens is because I have become adaptive to what the atmosphere is right now. So my secret to success is never, ever limit your abilities. Never limit what you think you can do. And I want you to think of starting simple because most times the people that are around us, think about this. Just think about this for a second. Ask yourself this question. What is it that your friends and your family are always calling you about that you get bugged about? Like, oh, they're always calling me to do this thing. Even if it is a listening ear. Because in a virtual marketplace, I can tell you, every skill that you have right now that you're taking for granted, you can monetize from it. Because I offer telephone services. I offer recruitment services. I stay, when I was back in Jamaica, I stayed in Jamaica and I'm recruiting people in Australia and England for, from CEO positions to, to custodian positions. And I was getting good money for that, okay? And what I did is I evolved and I increased on the services that I offer to now call myself a business consultant. So I now offer a full package for brick and mortar businesses and I give them everything that they want from a web designer to telephone call services to everything that a business needs to operate properly. So everything that you can do as a skill, you can offer it on a virtual marketplace and monetize from it. All you need is a know-how, which is what I got, and a direction in how to present and market yourself. Now the second key to my success is make sure that you're always aware of the changes that are happening around you and keep adapting to it. Don't be stagnant and don't be stubborn because every single month that you can think of, innovation keeps happening and there's never going to be a new norm. So if you want to be on top of your competition, this is what you have to do to make sure that you are on top. Creme de la creme of everything that you do, okay? And my third and final tip is research and strategize. I have re-strategized the way I've done my business and the way I've approached um, going into new businesses by always researching and strategizing for your niche market. Because if you want to have an increase in your ROI, that's your return on investment. Whatever you do, you have to make sure that you're aware of who is going to be your customer. How are you going to approach this customer and what problem you're going to solve? Because every successful business has to start this simple. Take this from me. If you want to be an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter how small it is. It doesn't matter if you're going to sell books. Write your own book. It doesn't matter if you're going to sell paper. I want you to identify a problem that a consumer has. It doesn't matter. Don't look far. Look in your community. Identify a problem that somebody has. And I want you to think about skills you have or skills that you can develop on to provide a solution for that. 
That's what I did. That's what my mentors did. And they are mega millionaires. And that's why I'm going to these milestones because all I'm thinking of doing and all I see when I go out there, when I step out my door, everything I look on is business. I go into a shopping center. I think about what I could do with the shopping center to improve or to increase their ROI or what I can do to help them to market better, to re-strategize, to improve their customer service. I want everything that you do. You're thinking business. And that's the only way you are going to be successful is having the mindset to always be evolving, always changing, and not limiting yourself to anything. And with that said, I want to say, be stronger than your excuses. It is so easy to give up. There's some key things that you have to do if you're going to go in any business, okay? You have to decide that you're going to commit to it. You have to decide that you're going to work for it. You have to be willing to strategize and re-strategize again and change up a few things to be on top of the market, okay? In order to be successful, these things all have to be glued together. And these are all the things that I thought I knew all these things prior, but I know so much more now that I can easily market myself and I can easily be somewhere with my phone in my hand and be making money. And not just that. Alicia said this when I just met her. She said... When you are thinking about wealth, you want to be making money while you sleep. That's why I wrote so many books. That's why I'm a podcaster. That's why I'm going into all these other passive incomes. Because you know what? You are there when you're making money while you sleep. So I'm not just thinking about just giving my time online. I'm going to keep writing books because that is helping me to make money while I'm sleeping. It's helping me to build wealth, not just for me, for my kids, for my family, and all the generations coming behind me. So I want you to always have this in your mind to understand that it's not the hardest thing to run your own business. It's not the hardest thing to be successful at anything. Just start simple. Just be hungry. Always be ready. And it, once you speak it into the universe and you also act on it and you get up and you rise and grind every day to the craft that you love, you are going to be successful. Now, there's not enough stuff for me to talk with you today because we don't have enough time. But follow me on my Facebook and my YouTube channel. It's all under my name, Nikisha Burrell. Um, and my podcast, the name of it is Becoming You, or you can type Nikisha Burrell, you'll find me too. We speak about inspiration. We empower people. We also educate them about easy, simple things that you can do to make money online. And that's what we do. We are the dream team. And I have to say thank you for Internet Income Jamaica, Alicia Little and her sister Lorette, and this whole family that I'm now a part of that listen to me. All we talk about is making money, building wealth for yourself, and being a better you, okay? So leverage the internet, leverage the virtual marketplace, and be the best you you can be, okay? Now, for all these books that I wrote, if you want to find my books, they are available on Amazon.com, and they're also available on Walmart. Just type my name in, Nikisha Burrell, and you'll see all these books, all these books, plus more to come. I'll be doing a uh, virtual launch for my birthday which is October 8th this year because I haven't even done a book launch yet I'm just going crazy all over the place but it's for a good reason so if you want to get books from now they are available on amazon.com and walmart just type my name in Nikisha Burrell and just follow me follow me on my Facebook follow me on my YouTube channel um you know just tap in we will keep updating you with new innovative ways of making money and future proofing yourself okay and until then Nice chat. Thank you so much, Nikisha. That was an amazing presentation. We're so excited to learn your keys to success and your life as an entrepreneur and as an author. If you watching this program want to build your goals and dreams, I encourage you to shoot for the moon. Make sure that as you identify what it is that you want to do with your life, that you go for it, that you're hungry for it, and that you run as fast as you can towards your goals and dreams. If you'd like to find out more about us at Internet Income Jamaica, please visit internetincomejamaica.com. Click on courses and you'll see all the courses that we have to offer. Also, follow us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram as well as on Facebook and follow me as well on Instagram and on Facebook. And we'll be sure to keep in touch and give you more tips and techniques for building your successful online business. Bye for now. See you in the next episode.